Close your eyes. What do you see? A temporary imprint of whatever you're looking at just before you close them? Or perhaps you see nothing. A great black void. What if you were told that in that nothingness, there was everything? Close them again. Go on. Can you see little specks of floating light? Glimmers of brightness or shadow, perhaps? What if your consciousness knows what you're looking at before your eyes do? What if your consciousness knows what you're hearing before your ears do? What if your consciousness can feel something before you even touch it? What if every sense you have is reacting to your deeper consciousness rather, and not the other way around? Wouldn't that be cool? You might even call it superhuman? Modern science as we know it doesn't want you to imagine such things. Ask a physicist or a biologist what they think about superpowers or extrasensory perception and they'll probably laugh at you. There's nothing to see here, nothing to learn, they might say. But precognition, ESP, and remote viewing all find their roots in our human history and experience. And scientists at the top of the game have recently been suggesting that multiple dimensions might be real. So, how can those same scientists be so quick to dismiss the possibility that we are capable of perceiving more than just the physical world around us. Doesn't it make sense that if the universe is truly infinite, that we might be capable of tapping into that infinite energy? Doesn't it make sense that you are capable of more than you think? In this video, we're going to explore superhuman consciousness. We'll take a look at how the stories of our past and present, you see people, yes, even children, breaking the rules of physics in ways you never imagined discover what your mind and body are truly capable of, and how you can begin to tap into those skills for yourself. Are you ready to unlock your hidden powers? Is your mind open to new exciting possibilities? Well hold on, you have come to the right place. Okay, so Daredevil was a bit of a cheesy movie, hardly Ben Affleck's best work. The character of Daredevil, or Matt Murdock, traces his roots back to the 1960s, blinded as a child by a radioactive substance while saving someone's life. Murdoch's other senses soon develop advanced awareness, radar sense, as the comics call it. The blind warrior narrative isn't new. In the 1500s, there was a famous Japanese long swordsman called Toda Sagan. He began to slowly lose his eyesight, so he started training himself with short sword combat so he can continue to fight in close proximity, where his senses would be sharper. Legend has it was that he was undefeated in combat as a blind man, seemingly unfazed by his lack of vision. Satoichi, a Japanese television and film character from the 1960s and 70s who is a blind swordsman himself, is said to have been inspired by Toda Sagan. His adventures inspired a generation of kids with poor eyesight to believe they could accomplish things. In the 1300s, John the Blind, King of Bohemia, famously rode into war even though he was almost blind. He is said to have killed many enemy soldiers before dying in battle. Some biblical scholars have suggested that Goliath may have been partially blind. The champion of the Philistines, Goliath was unmatched in his strength and brutality, until he met David, of course. Probably should have worn his glasses that day. Whoops. All jokes aside, blind warriors are found frequently throughout myth, legend, and pop culture. You might even remember Neo in The Matrix. Temporarily blinded, Neo develops what the film calls Flaming Truth Vision, which allows him to perceive the computer programs running his world. This extrasensory perception is made possible by his connection to the source, Hmm, maybe that sounds like something else. Universal energy, perhaps? Life force? Qi? Since the time of Isaac Newton, the founder of modern physics, the scientific community has argued that human beings are separate from the world around us. And that idea has been hard to break apart. For the last few decades, scientists have been exploring the idea of universal energy, or source energy. This is the idea that there is an energy force both within us and around us this is, of course, something that many ancient civilizations have believed for centuries. From Chinese qi energy, to India pranic energy, to Japanese reiki. The concept of energy flow and its connection with deeper levels of consciousness have been part of history for far longer than our understanding of physics or biology. In her book, The Field, alternative medicine activist Lynn McTaggart argues that the universe is unified by interactive field energy. She writes, At our most elemental, we are not a chemical reaction, but an energetic charge. In other words, everything you see, hear, touch, smell, and taste is a product of electromagnetic waves communicating with each other. Some researchers refer to this as the biofield, 
and by tapping into it, you can unlock extra sensory perception. Think of this as your very own Spidey sense. The same way Spider-Man is able to anticipate the world around him, so too can you tap into the energy fields around you. Everything is energy, so the secret to superhuman ability is to raise your own energy within. If you raise your chi, you can raise yourself to new heights. With more chi, you can cultivate, direct, and use deeper levels of consciousness to change your life entirely. You might be thinking that this all sounds a little far-fetched. Superheroes aren't real after all. Or maybe you think that ancient wisdom or philosophy is incompatible with modern science. What would you say if the most powerful governments in the world have been investing in, researching, and experimenting with psychic powers for decades? Because they have. In the 1940s and 50s, the United States learned of high-level experiments being undertaken by the Germans, Russians, and others for the purposes of mind control, consciousness manipulation, and to alter physical and mental states. They launched their own program, codenamed MKUltra. One document showed that the substances were being developed to increase the efficiency of cognitive ability and perception. Programs like these were taking place around the world during this time. Powerful governments investing millions of dollars into changing people's levels of consciousness. In 1978, the U.S. Army initiated the Stargate Project, which was established to investigate psychic phenomena in military applications. Stargate's main focus was to research what was called remote viewing, the ability to see sights, information, or events from far away using psychic powers. One test subject was able to accurately identify the location of a lost Soviet spy plane without ever having been near the crash site. Master Zhou Tingjie, an example of someone whose deep understanding of qi energy and its powers has allowed him to do the impossible over and over again. A qigong, taiji, and kung fu grandmaster, as well as a master medical qigong healer, Zhou Tingjie is renowned around the world. You might have seen him on the History Channel's show Stanley Superhumans. Zhou Tingjie is known for his ability to intuitively understand pain and illness and to treat them therapeutically with a practice called qigong energy healing. In the documentary Superhuman, Invisible Made Visible, you are introduced to young children around the world who are being trained to harness their true energy. Schools that teach kids how to see without using their eyes. Kids at these schools practice martial arts, rollerblading, and many other sports with blindfolds on. Some of them can even read a book with blindfolds on. These techniques have also been taught to children who were born blind, and they have been able to learn how to see and function just like a normal child with normal vision. There are methods teach us the ability to see the vibrational energy of objects around you in order to perceive them without using your eyes. Sounds like Daredevil's radar sense, doesn't it? At a fundamental level, we don't speak in words. We speak in energy. Albert Einstein once put it even more simply, everything is energy, and that's all there is to it. If children are capable of developing this mastery over their own chi energy, then so can you. You have the tools already, it's time to start using them. The physical world is the result of consciousness, not the other way around. When you train your energy to work in harmony with the energy fields around you, you can begin to see the world in an entirely new way. This is known as quantum entanglement or integration. When the consciousness of one person becomes connected to another person or thing, being able to make this happen on purpose or truly control it yourself is a process called manifestation. The most effective way to achieve manifestation is to meditate. Meditation has been a part of nearly every great civilization, faith, and philosophy. It's more than just sitting cross-legged and closing your eyes though. Anyone can do that. No, it's about truly achieving an altered or deep state of consciousness. Some people go a step beyond this and develop the ability to experience or change an environment remotely, take their subconscious energy and manifest it into their conscious reality. In the documentary Superhuman, which we touched on earlier, you'll see scientific experiments carried out where a person's energy field can manipulate an object to move remotely from many miles away and even to change the chemical composition of water and alter its pH balance simply by hovering their hands near the water. Real mind over matter superpowers. All around the world, there's people just like you, normal everyday people who understand that there are energy fields around them just waiting to be tapped into and used to their advantage. And as you've seen, some of them are even kids. So, how can you put all this new knowledge to work for you? How can you take advantage of energy in your life? Introducing the Qi Coil Superhuman System, where we teach you how to harness your Qi energy and use it to transform yourself into a real-life superhero. Qi energy serves as the basis of our system. We focus on four key disciplines of energy control. High-level martial arts, 
energy healing, manifestation, and psychic abilities. Let's explore each of these in a little more detail. High-level martial arts. Understanding how energy plays a role in the concepts of offense and defense, like it does in martial arts, will open your mind to how best to position yourself in any situation you come across. Energy healing. The mind, body, and spirit truly are one. Learning how to see the world through this lens will enable you to use qi energy to heal yourself emotionally and physically. Manifestation. In life, the greatest journey is your path to success. Getting there requires the ability to foresee challenges and capitalize on opportunities. Imagine having the manifesting ability and the confidence and ingenuity of Tony Stark. Finally, psychic ability. With an understanding of how your energy field works and how to tap into the source energy, you'll be able to access deeper levels of consciousness, unlocking mind-bending abilities you never thought possible. Change your energy, change your life. To learn more, go to superchicoil.com.